Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I wanted to provide a follow-up review of the Ashley Jar Rose sofa after owning it and using it for many months. And I'm going to tell you about the good, the bad. We're just going to go through it. I mean, there's no bias here, man. I'm going to tell you what I think. So, uh, first of all, these these cushions on the back are very comfortable. And by the way, that's not any sort of Velcro type stuff. It just sits there. So, you know, it is worth mentioning the back. You know, you're getting the support on the back from these cushions. These cushions are very nice. Uh, with that being said, you know, there's not, in the sofa itself, as you can see, the cushion's taller than the back of the sofa. So if you're looking for a sofa that is ultra supportive on your back, this may not be it. Now for me, I love it. You know, I'm six foot two. Um, I can stretch out here. When I do stretch out here, being six foot two, my feet do hang slightly off the end. So, not that it's uncomfortable, but it's it's something I wanted to mention. The thing that I've enjoyed the most about this Ashley Jar Rose sofa is when I pop this out and it makes a bed. You can see this is a very spacious bed. And I can sleep on it with these pillows in place, but if you took the back pillows off, the bed becomes even wider, see? Because, see, that pillow is pretty fat. So, you know, that pillow is taking up a little bit of the bed space. My primary use case for this sofa has been popping that out, you know, and sleeping on it on occasion. For a bed, it's super comfortable. You know, if you've dealt with uh, inferior sleeper sofas in the past, you know the types where you pop out the you pop out the uncomfortable mattress that has all the springs that that poke you in the back all night. This is a major leap forward. Also, if you've used a futon, you know, typically futons they just they feel cheap. This has a good build quality. Uh, speaking of build quality, something I do want to talk about. And, you know, again, I'm I'm telling you the truth here, man. I don't, you know, I don't have any reason to try to doctor it up. This material is nice. You know, see, it's kind of got a, this is a 4K video, so, you know, crank it up if you want to see the detail. But the material is nice. It's a semi-soft more on the rougher side, which is good, because rough signals, you know, prolonged durability. You can see here, there's some fur. Um, if you have pets that shed, this type material is probably something that the fur is going to be attracted to. So just something to, something to be aware of. Also, this is a very well-made sofa. However, if you use this as your daily sofa. You know, the one that you're sitting on and sitting down and standing up, or not standing up, but sitting down and then, you know, standing up, getting off the sofa. This part right here, and I don't have the problem because again, this is not my primary sofa. You know, I got this primarily to be a, a fold out sleeping area. But if you were using this sofa daily, you would probably my assumption is that you might, over time, start to see indentations in the sofa. You know, it's it's well made, but it's not... If, if you know what I'm talking about with sofas, the sofas that are like super soft, it's not that type of softness. So, you know, if you, if you sit on it, you know, daily, I mean, if this is your main, your main sofa in your residence, my assumption is that over time you're probably going to start to see indentations and all of that in the in the padding. You know, not saying that's a problem, but, you know, you, you can't see it on mine because, again, I, I use this, but I primarily fold it out and, uh, you know, use it as a sleeper sofa. So for me to sit here and watch TV, I don't do that. I mean, I've seldom watched TV anyway, but the, uh, the armrests, they're... I mean, they're, you know, low profile, so keep that in mind. Now, they're not super duper padded. You can feel the wood in there. So, you know, this is, it, it's comfortable, but it's not, it's not of super comfort level, if that makes sense. The thing I do like about it, and again, I'm six foot two. I can put my head up here and then have my feet down there 
and I don't have any problems with my feet or my head feeling like they're on the armrest. And the other thing is, the advantage of having these low profile armrests is that what you can do here is, you know, because it's low profile, you've got to just put a pillow on there and you're good to go. It adds a little bit of elevation. But again, with this folded out being six foot two, I'm able to sleep with my head on this end, my feet on that end, and the armrests on each side don't become an issue at all. So that's, uh, I mean, if I touch them, I might slightly touch that with my toes and that's it. So comfort as a uh, futon alternative, you know, I would, I would buy this sofa again in favor of a futon any day of the week. Just because the build quality is nice. You know, it is a sofa as well, and it's a comfortable sofa. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to tell you it's the most durable and, and most comfortable sofa out there on the market, because it's not. But what this is, is a well-made sofa. It's not the type of sofa that, you know, one would typically buy online at a discount. And those types of sofas, you know, you know the ones I'm talking about. They come in various different brands, but they're typically all the same and they're typically poor quality and uncomfortable and you know you sit on them and they pop and creak this is this is definitely a major leap in quality beyond those and again even though it's a even though it's a quality upgrade it's not this sofa is not to the level of your sofas that you would find in a luxurious home you know a sofa that's that's firm uh yet soft and supportive you know, and something that's made to be made out of a material that's that's built for prolonged daily use. This is not that. Again, this this material is good, but you know, this is not this is not a luxurious sofa. You know, this is a sofa you get when it's like, well, you know, I don't want to buy a futon because futons are uncomfortable and they look cheap. You know, I want something that looks nice that if I do use is still going to be functional and comfortable. Yes, it's a sofa I'm not going to use every day because I don't want to wear it out. But it's a sofa that, uh, you know, it, it gets the job done. And, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I, I would not hesitate to buy this sofa again. I mean, this Ashley Jarro <clears throat> is super nice. Now, I got the blue. I know it comes in a gray color and it may come in some other colors too, but it's, it's a good, uh, I mean, it's been a good investment. And again, for me and check out my other video that I linked with the uh, YouTube card, little, little button towards the top right of the video. If you click it, you'll see it. But I've got the other video where I demonstrate popping out the sleeping area. And I mean, that's super nice. Cause I mean, it, you know, it fills this gap and you've got a, a, a proper bed to sleep on, dude. I mean, you really do. You know, so for anyone that that doesn't want to buy a futon because they want something nicer, but they don't want to buy a fancy sofa that's your traditional sleeper sofa because, you know, those mattresses are not comfortable. They shoot you in the back with springs. You don't want that. So kind of the best of both worlds. You know, if your objective is to have something that's functional to use as a sofa, but something that is super comfortable to sleep on. And again, I sleep on it by myself, but you could fit two adults on this. That's how wide it is. Also worth mentioning is that the profile of the sofa, it doesn't stand tall off the wall. So for a place like my YouTube studio, you can see I've got a slanted roof. So with that, it fits the space nicely. To sleep as big as it does, it doesn't occupy an extreme amount of space in the room. And I just put a standard size, like a little side table there, man. And that fits great. So I would definitely, I would highly recommend this sofa. But again, know what you're getting into. If this is going to be your daily use sofa in your living room or whatever, it may not be durable enough. But for the price, 
you may say, you know what? It's worth it. You know, if it wears out in a few years, I'll get another one. So, you know, you're the buyer. You figure out what you want. I'm just sharing my opinions. And I'm not trying to sell you on this sofa or try to steer you away from it. Tell me what you think within the comment section below. And please ask any questions that you may have. Y'all have had a ton of questions about this Ashley Jarro sofa. And I'll do my best to try to answer. Thanks for your viewership. And, and y'all have a good day. And be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. See you later.